Hello, episode 3, uh, junior male qualification and male youth B qualification. The first group, they had a second group which I didn't film that much or not at all. So we'll just take a look at these two groups. More action, less feedback of the setter still, important feedback of the setters. And I think it worked quite well. Um, of course, as like Jackie said, there are different ways how sometimes it works when you try to mirror a bowler, for example. The right group, they were allowed or they were able to use the side panel, the blue side panel for their first bowler, while it was on the left group, they were just not able to do that. Um, I will show you a couple of competitors, junior male first, and then youth B. And uh, let's take a look, see you in a bit. Like Jackie said in episode number one, it was a quite simple move but still quite hard. Some people fell on the first move, second move and you always had to find the right body position. Once you were at the top move, it wasn't over at all. The right group on the other hand had a little advantage because uh, as Ned Middlehurst here from Australia, you could use uh, the corner, the blue panel, while on the left side the panel was on your right side and you were never able to use it. To send this boulder we compare Shooter Tanaka on the left side and Elias on the right side. While well, Shooter Tanaka needed quite some time to find the foothold and the position Elias ran smoothly into it and found the position in, what is it, maybe 15 seconds. Not only a difference in speed but also the finishing position and now we compare two wrongs and two rights. While well, Shooter was standing upright on the top hold and pushing underneath it and Elias was sitting on it. They had two things in common. The hip was in one line with the top hold and in Shooter's case a little bit further to the right and their right knee was facing to the right. So their hip was really close to the wall. Christoph in picture number three has uh, his hip further to the right but his knee is facing to the left so his hip is further away from the wall. He crossed the line but he cannot find a stable position while uh, the kid from Korea, sorry I don't know his name anymore, he wasn't able to move his r hip further to the right and cross the line while his knee was already in a good position. He didn't find a stable point of balance. Boulder number two, the volume boulder was more like volume wrestling and you had to move really cautiously and slow. This is slow-mo and Elias tried to reach the top hole quite quick. On the left hand shooter Tanaka in his flash go while Elias on the right hand is already on his I think fourth try and he's climbing quickly to the bonus which is called zone nowadays and the hardest part is rotating the right hand right now and keeping the hip close to the wall then he moved too quick too fast to the top hold and the way to win to top this boulder shooter on the left hand still in his flash go he moves really slowly hip to the left so he can swap the right hand in a minute really slow really slow a lot of power and then he moves cautiously really slow to the top and flashes boulder number two shooter Tanaka we looked at bowler number three already in our last episode and when Piotr at night was not using the screw on, on the left side for his foot, it happened the same as for Jesse Ruffini here or this guy from Czech uh, who slipped off this foothold. So it was more or less about getting the easier part done where you had to fit into the corner, into the box, but because it is in corner, it's always quite uh, stable, even though it can be uncomfortable. But as mentioned before, you had to move your left foot over your head first, but then you were standing in the stable position. Elias here again, Elias Krüger from Germany. Easy to get the bonus and I think a good spot to uh, put the zone. And from this position you could lean into these crimps, move and bump your left foot higher, push your heel down, reach the top and then slowly match feet for ball number three. Nice little play, but not too hard if you did everything right. Like Jackie said, bowler number four, basic power, nothing about technical stuff, just about physicality and power. And this is Max the power, Max of the future, Maximilian Milne, who just destroyed the qualification round, uh, five, four tops and five tries or any, something like this. Poof! He did 11 one-arm pull-ups uh, as a preparation for this Youth World Championships. And this was just impressive. Follow him, this guy on Instagram. Um, 
another angle here Christoph Schweiger from Germany uh, you jump outwards and the only thing the root setters tweaked was uh, the right hand hand hold we will take a look at in a minute but as mentioned before the easiest boulder if you have the power they talked about one tweak uh, last episode and this is uh, the hold they tweaked uh, this hold used to be uh, a little bit more horizontal so easier more like a jug and now it's a little bit steeper and just a little bit harder cool i said you did uh, you did uh, you did the tweaks uh, yes finally we decided to uh no we decided the, the chief decided to make the last video slightly harder just to Yes, to fit more the goals. Yeah. I have the feeling it's okay, that we can have a lot of action and yeah. this round is especially for the not for the very best, so it's on the easy side but it's quite good. We'll see at the end, but I think it's quite good, a lot of action especially. So. Yeah, bowler number so, one works quite yeah, good yeah, so, some yeah, competitors try to run. It's hard to flash everything, so yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah, it's quite cool. I enjoy it. At the moment it's quite cool. <laughs> we will see at the end, but it's quite cool. I didn't get that much uh, feedback, that many comments about uh, the youth B uh, the night before, so I just asked Tomish uh, just in between the round what he was thinking about the round. Happy with your round? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy, I think. Uh, for youth B, I think it's, it's quite, quite cool, not by heart, but uh, yeah, we split them for sure. And, uh, Judges are happy. So, <laughs> which one is your favorite polar? <laughs> just, just look at it. I don't know. Uh, maybe blue one. <laughs> I like it blue one. <laughs> yeah, good. I think good. Good mix. Yeah. There is a power for the uh, yeah, technical one at the beginning and uh, yeah, slap the last one. Did, did, you, did you think the, the round would be harder or more difficult? Did you expect that many? I didn't expect. I, I told that maybe it will be less stops. Yeah, in this category, you never know. I think it's the hardest category because you never see the athletes before, and uh, especially 14 years old. There is some very small, small one, not, not super tall, but they are super strong. Yeah? Come on. Man. One guy from Bulgaria did it all. Uh, I think one of the smallest guy. Yeah, so that means that there is not more fall and the uh, problems works good for tall for I think I'm happy. Yeah. Boulder number one was by far the easiest and it started with this run in or step in into the volume, then it traversed to the left. Don't forget the left side of the wall of the red. You could also do this move with the heel hook first and then another traverse to the right, always pushing and pulling on these uh, pinches and bricks. And there were two ways how you could do the upper part. Either you, you press and push yourself into the corner and are able to match your foot next to your hand and then just move slowly to the top. Method number one. If you're not flexible enough like Leander here um, and you cannot bump your foot next to your left hand, the top hole is really close to you, but you are not able to find the stable position. So the only thing he was able to do and he's doing right now, he's climbing down and then try to do it dynamic. Get the left foot only there and then bump to the last hold. As mentioned before, the easiest bowler, I think bowler number two was the hardest and we see Oscar here. Oscar, I like his climbing style from Canada. More, more elite climber, he came fourth uh, behind three Japanese, so he's uh, the best of the rest, as we sometimes say. <laughs> no, he's really, really good. And he said he's not that good at bouldering, but he was able to climb boulder number one, and he was also able to find a top for boulder number two, which was more or less a little bit powerful at the start. Different ways were able, were possible, to climb this problem. So youth B can be 14 or 15 years old and as Tomasz said already it's quite hard to know to judge because some of these athletes you'll never see before they have their first year. Uh, Nickel here, Nickel Thomas from Bangkok has his second year but if we compare him to Oscar who is more skinny and a little bit um, lighter Tomasz already has a lot of muscles and is really powerful. But there's an interview with him coming up as well, so stay tuned for him and stay tuned for bowler number three, Tomasz's favorite bowler, the triple dino, which was quite hard. And 
Let's put it this way, not that hard, more or less complex. Uh, some kids needed a lot of tries to hit the left screw on in this quadra dish perfectly and be able to stick the jump. If you didn't hit it perfectly, you rotated and fell down. But if you did it, did it good, like Oscar here, it was a one, two, and then a quite easy ending, I have to say, because only one more move after this, uh, you could do it with a knee bar like Oscar tries here, or you could go just all out and match this. And he couldn't believe it because he had only seconds left. So we take a look at Torben from Germany here, bup, 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 from the other angle, another side. And as mentioned before, I think this could have used more bizarre, something a little bit more at the top. But on the other hand, then you go into the underkling and go to the next slip, makes it a little bit longer and maybe less tops. Boulder number four was a little bit longer. This slabby traverse we were able to see in episode number two. Unfortunately, uh, it was possible to skip the Gaston move and go straight into the screw on which was on top. Uh, maybe uh, some more people should have tested it at night and not only Piotr. But on the other hand, it's quite hard to feel yourself into the angles and leverages. Uh, they have these youth B climbers. And on the other hand, while this round may have been a little bit easier, you still needed to top many, many boulders to advance and move into the semifinal. Nickel here, for example, was not able to top boulder number three, even though he was able to stick the jump, but it didn't matter that much. He was able to do boulder number four and he moved into the Gaston, which is nice for us to see and also nice for the setters. And Three climbers moved into semifinals with four boulders topped, but they had many, many tries. Oscar, for example, moved into semis with four boulders topped in 23 tries. <laughs> Yo, that's it, uh, episode 3. If you still need to watch uh, the other episodes, you can find them somewhere here or here. And uh, feel free to enjoy and spread the love and share these videos if you think they are uh, informative. Let me know what you want to know more. And if you want to look behind the scenes, for example, regarding the judging, you can find an interview with the judges and the jury here on my Patreon page. Uh, feel free to support me, check it out. Otherwise, you will find all the other interviews uh, and stuff here somewhere on, the, on these links. So thank you so much and have a lovely day. Bye.